What is up, Ninja? OG over here from Player Essence, and welcome to another PE Nintendo Switch and gaming news video. Today, we have some awesome information for you guys, like always, so let's go in and get right into it. Tactical RPG Regalia Royal Edition is coming to the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch in Q1 of 2018. You inherit a kingdom and pay off its massive debt. So Regalia of Men and Monarchs, a kickstarted Japan-inspired tactical RPG, first launched for the PC back in May, is coming to the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch in Q1 2018 as Regalia Royal Edition developer Pixelated Milk has announced. Now here's an overview of the game. Regalia of Men and Monarchs is a full tactical RPG that has challenging combat and exciting adventures. Create your party of distinct individuals and get to work. There's a lot to be done if you're to rebuild your kingdom. Enjoy the beautiful hand-drawn graphics, lose yourself in the original orchestral soundtrack composed by Game Audio Factory and Foody and the Endless series fame, and go adventuring in the untamed regions of the land of Ascalia. Your story begins in somewhat unexpected circumstances. Who would have thought that after your father passed away, you would inherit a wondrous kingdom far, far away? Unfortunately, as soon as you arrive in Ascalia, you and your kingdom are drowning in a terrible debt. Now, through some good old-fashioned adventuring, you have to return your family seat to the former glory, help out new subjects, and repay the kingdom's massive debt. Regalia of Men and Monarchs is a brand new RPG and a kickstarted success. It was funded by gamers who, just like us, believe that we need to have more good tactical role-playing games. In the end, it was made to be everything we ourselves want from an honest RPG game. So will you defeat all the rats, bandits, monsters, and debt collectors? Or will your ruined kingdom fall into an even worse ruin? If you don't succeed, it will be the world's first ruined ruin. <laughs> And that's just the worst. Now check out the key features here. Robust turn-based battles with varied objectives and lots of viable strategies. Six various regions to explore, each filled with battles, adventures, and bosses, and more. More than 20 unique characters to meet, recruit, or befriend, foster relationships, and create an ultimate team of misfits. All you need to be a successful king, town management, diplomacy, expeditions. A light-hearted story with tons of humor and a fair amount of epicness. Over 30 hours of gameplay, huge replayability factor, you won't discover all the content in just one playthrough, craft new powerful weapons, beautiful graphics with hand-drawn 2D backgrounds, orchestral soundtrack composed by Game Audio Factory, professional English voice acting, Samurai Dwarves. You can check out the PlayStation 4 announcement trailer, but it is coming to the Xbox One and also the Nintendo Switch next year in 2018. So yeah, more tactical RPGs are definitely better. You can sign me up anytime that there's a new tactical RPG coming. I'm definitely going to be talking about it. And this one looks pretty cool. So if you're into Fire Emblem, Final Fantasy Tactics, games like that, then this is probably right up your alley. So what do you guys think about Regalia Royal? edition coming to all the different systems here next year let me know your thoughts in the comment section below all right and moving into the next article here we have a potential dragon quest 11 nintendo switch sighting as far as a release date or information or the first gameplay footage something could be going down big shout outs to the dude over there japanese nintendo on twitter make sure you go follow that boy he's been doing some good work when it comes to translations of japanese tweets from video game developers and more so make sure you check him out so japanese nintendo on twitter had this to say about a recent post apparently this was from the live.niko video jp and they talk about dragon quest 11 in terms of some type of event going down so dragon quest 11 broadcast announced for december 19th at 19 jst with the game's directors for both the 3ds and the playstation 4 so both of those directors are going to be there this could be the switch reveal japanese nintendo says and i would really hope so because they are crazy if they think that i'm buying a playstation 4 and a nintendo 3ds version to be able to play on the go or lying down in bed and also on the big screen they're crazy i'm not gonna do that i know a lot of japanese gamers did it or at least some did it i wouldn't say a lot but some did it but i'm not going to do that get me the nintendo switch version so i can get the graphics that are maybe near the playstation 4 on unreal engine 4 but then i can also get the comfort of being able to play anywhere i want on the nintendo switch so i'm hoping that this is the time that we finally see it 
Dragon Quest XI is a fantastic game. For those who don't know, it's a classic Japanese RPG, but it has a lot of little twists in there in terms of what you can do with the combat, how the characters interact with the environments, how they talk to each other, the amount of quests you can do, the areas, secret bosses. There's all sorts of stuff in this game. It's classic, but made modern. This is the type of RPG you just don't see a lot anymore. You used to see a lot of these back in the Super Nintendo days as far as large scale RPGs. RPGs for home consoles. Now you don't see that anymore. You see a lot of this style maybe on the portable systems when it came to the 3DS or the PSP or the PS Vita. But we're finally getting this type of game um, on a home console base and even on a portable too. But it is a large scale game even if you're getting it on the 3DS. There's a lot of great content even packed into there. It's essentially the same game but just with different art styles in terms of Dragon Quest XI on the 3DS and the PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch version. So it's an amazing experience experience i've seen people play it i've watched it um and it looks great it looks great and i cannot wait to get my hands on the nintendo switch version but we need some information first and this could be where they talk about it the ps4 and the 3ds versions have been out for quite some time now everyone knows about it it's been selling blah 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 we need to finally get some information on the Nintendo Switch version, the Switch is selling 200,000 units almost a week in Japan right now. It's pushing past 150,000 units. It's time to let people know you have nearly going on 3 million users, which it will be over 3 million probably in the next couple weeks here. It's time. Like, it is time for Japanese owners, in addition to us over here in the Western territories, to know about the Nintendo Switch version of this game. We need to know about potentially getting us uh, English release dates, stuff like that. I doubt there's going to be anything on that. We just know that it's coming 2018 confirmed. So we still need to get information on that, but we'll see what happens here, guys. I'm excited for Dragon Quest XI on the Nintendo Switch. Cannot wait to get into it. Um, that's why I'm glad that. <laughs> I'm so glad that Xenoblade Chronicles 2 launched this year just so I can play it through and hopefully get through most of the content because next year is just packed with Valkyria Chronicles. You also have Project Octopath, Shin Megami Tensei, now Dragon Quest. There's just so much uh, next year in 2018, plus the expansion patch for Xenoblade Chronicles 2, so I'm still going to be playing that next year as well. So what do you guys think about potentially getting some information for the Nintendo Switch version of Dragon Quest XI? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, and moving into the last article here, Adventure Time Pirates of the Enchirion has been announced for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. And I'm hoping that I said that right. I probably said it wrong, though. I don't watch Adventure Time, but it seems like a really cool show. So explore an open world as Finn, Jake, Marcine, and Bimo. So Outright Games and Climax Studios have announced Adventure Time Pirates of the Enchirion, a new open world entry in the Adventure Time series due out for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC in spring 2018. Here is an overview of the game via Outright Games. In this brand new hilarious Adventure Time story, gamers play as Finn, Jake, Marcin, and Bimo to explore fan favorite kingdoms and meet the well loved characters from Cartoon Network's popular TV animation series. The game starts with a flooded land of Ooh, is it O O O? Oh no, this, this cartoon's crazy. In which familiar kingdoms are cut off from each other by rising waters, and their newly constructed boat. Hold that thought, Finn and Jake set sail to investigate what the junk went down. During their adventures, Finn and Jake will recruit friends to join their crew, jump into swashbuckling fights, interrogate characters for clues, and traverse the new dangerous sea to locations across Ooh. Key features, open world exploration, 3D visuals that match the art style of the show, playable fan favorite characters, Finn, Jake, Bimo, and Marcin, an original Adventure Time story, Tactical combat, hero progression, pirates, shiver me timbers. You can check out the screenshots as well as you're doing so here. So Adventure Time, this is one of the big time franchises that's already had a number of games out on various systems from like the Wii U. I think that even got one of the Adventure Time games. There's been some on the 3DS, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC. They're out there, man. And Adventure Time, I've watched the show. I've actually watched a number of episodes. I don't know what's going on in the show. Like I never know what's going on. I don't understand the humor, but it's 
seems like it's very well animated. It seems like there's great voice actors and it's a very popular show. This is not necessarily something that I'm probably going to play unless I get like a review code for it and I can show it off. But it looks like a pretty cool game for those who are into Adventure Time. So I wanted to make sure that I talked about it and it's an open world game. I know that they put together one Adventure Time game that was like The Legend of Zelda 2. Like back on the NES, they put together a game that was literally just like that. And a lot of people did like that game. They're like, hey, this is like Legend of Zelda 2, but good. But anyway, hopefully this game turns out to be pretty good here. I'm getting maybe a little bit of Wind Waker vibes just a bit. I doubt that it's going to play like Wind Waker or anything like that. Or maybe it does. They've already kind of copied Zelda 2, so you never know. So what do you guys think about Adventure Time as far as what they're bringing to the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, Nintendo Switch? Is this your style of game? Do you like the TV show? I would love to hear you guys' thoughts in the comment section below. All right, Ninja, that wraps it up for this video here. Go ahead and check out the links in the description below. We've got Facebook. We've got Twitter. Go ahead and give us a like and a thought on our social media. It really helps us spread the content of player assets across the interwebs in addition to YouTube. Also, make sure you check out our Patreon and YouTube live gaming page and consider supporting Player Essence. When you do so, it gets you access to all sorts of cool benefits, perks, rewards, and emotes via YouTube sponsorship. So check out the link in the description below and consider supporting Player Essence right here on YouTube. Hit that like button if you did like this video. Let's me know you guys want more content like this going forward in the future. And subscribe to Player Essence for the latest RPG, Japanese, and Nintendo gaming news. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the for the next video. Peace.